Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today we're going to be talking about HDMI cables in particularly what are the differences between HDMI 1.4, 2.0, 2.1. All of those numbers sometimes can get kind of confusing. So I'm going to do my best to break it down and make it really, really simple. And we're going to be talking about my home theater and how that applies and even some issues that I ran into in my setup in regards to having the incorrect HDMI cable. Now, before we jump into the video, I want to give a big thanks to Monoprice for sponsoring this video. Now, I've been using Monoprice probably for the past 13 years when I began building my home theater. Matter of fact, this was my first HDMI cable that I ever used in my theater. Now, you can see this thing is big and thick and honking, like just this massive, I mean, it barely bends. I mean, look at this. Um, but it's an old HDMI cable, so we're going to talk about um, when do you need to upgrade your HDMI cable um, and what do those different numbers mean? And so I've used HDMI cables for Monoprice. Um, I've got speaker wire that I've been using for Monoprice. This is some 14 gauge I've been using for years. Really like this stuff. It's not anything fancy, but it's just great quality. And then I've got some Monoprice uh, speaker cables that I made. Um, so these have the banana plugs on the end of them to make it just easier and more convenient when I'm hooking up a set of speakers or maybe an AVR. And so as I mentioned, this cable right here was my first HDMI cable. So back 13 years ago, I had a Panasonic AE3000U projector. Now that's a native uh, 1080p projector. Later on, probably several years down the road, I upgraded to a Panasonic 8000 AE projector, and that too was a native 1080p projector. And so that particular cable worked very well for both of those. I think this is a 30 foot, uh, maybe a 40 foot, but I think it's a 30 foot cable that runs from my projector up through my attic and then down to, at that time, my AVR, my, my receiver. Now, several years after that, I upgraded to the Epson 5040 UB projector, which that's still a native 1080p projector, but it has what they call 4K enhancement. Now, when I upgraded to the Epson 5040 UB projector, since it was kind of 4K, it's what they call faux 4K or fake 4K. Um, basically, it's 1080p, but they use um, like two 1080p images and they kind of pixel shift. They, they move the pixels up and down and basically when they combine those, you get more resolution. So it's kind of a fake 4K. So I went on Amazon and I picked up a cable from C&E and that cable supported up to 4K at 24 hertz. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that I recently upgraded my projector once again to the JVC DLA NX7, which is a native 4K projector. So the JVC will support up to 4K at 60 hertz, and my current HDMI cable only supports up to 4K at 24 hertz. In my setup, I have a Marantz AV7705 preamp, and that's connected to a Pioneer UDP LX500 4K player. And then there's an HDMI cable coming out of the Marantz all the way to the JVC NX7. So one issue I ran into is inside the Marantz, if I go to setup and we come down to video, you'll find an option down here that says 4K signal format. So under the 4K signal format, we have two options. So if I hit enter, you'll see we have standard as well as enhanced. If I go to standard, which is what it's set on now, it supports up to 4K60, 420, 8-bit video signals. So if you're running a 4K projector and you have compatible cables, you should be able to change this from standard to enhanced, which will allow you to support up to 4K60, 444, 422, or 4K60, 420 at 10-bit video signals. But watch what happens when I click enhanced and then we exit out of the setup. So here we are presented with the blue screen of death. This is basically is just meaning that it has no input. It doesn't see the signal. And the basic reason is because my cables are not compatible with those formats. And so I'm gonna go back into setup. Now, because I've lost signal, I can't see an on-screen display. So I have to look at the front of my receiver, go into the setup menu, 
go back into video, signal format, change this to standard, exit out of the setup. It'll take a few minutes to lock back on. Not a few minutes, a few seconds. And we're back in business. Now this is just the screensaver on my Pioneer. So we'll go ahead and get back to that main menu. So once I got that blue screen of death where we lost the signal, honestly, I was kind of bummed. I was like, man, that means my cable probably cannot support the bandwidth that is required for that setting. And so I knew once again, it was time to upgrade my cables. And so I reached out to a friend of mine that actually has the same exact JVC NX7 projector. And I asked him, uh, which his name is Tony. And I said, Tony, what HDMI cables do you run in your home theater setup? Tony shared with me, he actually uses three of the HDMI cables from Monoprice, which are their 48 gigabit per second. And these are fiber optic cables. So when he told me he was using the Monoprice cables and he had great success with them, man, I was really excited about that because like I said, I've been using Monoprice for the past 13 years and I know that they make great products. And so with that, I reached out to my guys at Monoprice and I asked them if they could recommend some HDMI cables for me in my setup and I explained kind of what I was looking for as well as what Tony was running in his setup. So Monoprice ended up sending me two boxes of HDMI cables. Now, of course, I don't need all these HDMI cables, and so I'm gonna be giving away some of these cables here on the channel. So if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed and click the bell notification so that you'll be notified when I announce the giveaway. Now, before we get into what cables they actually sent me, I wanna kinda of dive through and kinda of talk through the different types of HDMI cables, kind of the main ones that are out currently. And so right now there's pretty much three kind of main HDMI versions. There's HDMI 1.4, HDMI 2.0, and then there's the newest and latest greatest, which is the HDMI 2.1. And so let's take a look at the differences between those three versions. HDMI 1.4 was introduced in 2009. It supports up to 10.2 gigabits per second. It'll handle up to 4K at 24 Hertz and supports up to eight channels of audio. HDMI 2.0 is often referred to as high-speed HDMI cables and that was introduced back in 2013. With HDMI 2.0, you had an increased bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second. It would support 4K at 60 Hertz it would also support up to 32 channels of audio, has support for HDR, and is really about four times the bandwidth of HDMI 1.4. And the most recent HDMI format is HDMI 2.1, which is often referred to as ultra high-speed HDMI. HDMI 2.1 supports bandwidth up to 48 gigabits per second, 4K at 120 hertz, 8K at 60 hertz, and up to 10K at 60 Hertz. HDMI 2.1 offers 2.6 times the bandwidth of the standard HDMI 2.0. It also offers support for dynamic HDR, variable refresh rate, and auto low latency mode, which are typically used for gaming. So the first two cables we're gonna look at are their 40 foot dynamic view active high speed HDMI cable. Now, because they're high speed, that is the HDMI 2.0 that we talked about just a moment ago. It has support for 4K at 60 Hertz, supports HDR, is 18 gigabits per second bandwidth, and it's CL2 rating, which means you can run it through the walls. So these 40 foot cables would be great for like my setup to where I have to run this through the wall and it's a pretty long distance. And next up, we've got two HDMI cables from their Slim Run AV series. Now these are also 18 gigabit per second high speed cables, so that is also the HDMI 2.0. They too support 4K at 60 Hertz, HDR, and these are actual fiber optic cables, so it allows you to run those a little bit further. So as you can see from the Slim Run series, this cable is about half the thickness of the Dynamic View series. Now if you can imagine in my setup, I don't necessarily need two 50 foot HDMI cables, and I don't need two 40 foot HDMI cables. And so that means I've got nothing else to do but give these guys away. 
And so if you're interested in one of these, like I said, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because in the coming week, I'll be offering a, a giveaway for these various cables and I'll be giving them away to several people. So it won't be like one person will be getting all of this because most people don't need four long HDMI cables. Now that was the HDMI 2.0 cables, but Monoprice also sent me some HDMI 2.1 cables for my own setup here. So in the box, they sent me two three foot dynamic view, ultra 8K high speed HDMI cables. These are the faster 48 gigabits per second, supports up to 8K dynamic HDR, as well as EARC. Now I'll be using these to connect my PlayStation 4, but soon to be PlayStation 5 when that comes out, as well as my Pioneer UDP LX500 4K player. Now they also sent me three longer HDMI cables, two are 20 foot and the other is 50 foot. Now all of these are HDMI 2.1 ultra high speed cables. So once again, those can support up to 48 gigahertz, 4K 120 hertz, 8K at 60 hertz, and up to 10K at 60 hertz. It also has support for dynamic HDR, that variable refresh rate for gaming, and auto low latency mode. So I'll be using the 50 foot fiber optic HDMI 2.1 cable to go from my Marantz AV7705 up my wall, through my attic, and then back down the wall to my JVC DLA NX7 native 4K projector. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to replace the cable that I currently have going from the Marantz to the projector. And I'm also going to replace the cable that's going from the Pioneer UDP LX500 4K player to the Marantz AV7705 processor. And I'll be replacing those cables with the new 48 gigabit per second cables, the HDMI 2.1 cables that Monoprice sent me. So give me just a moment, I'll get those swapped out and we'll go back through and change it to enhanced and see if we get a locked on signal. All right, so here we have the two three foot Monoprice cables. So these are the 48 gigabit per second ultra high speed. So I'm gonna use one of these for the PS4. Later on, it'll be upgraded to the PS5. And then the other one we'll use on the Pioneer 4K player. We'll just get this open here. So again, nothing fancy. But these are rated up to 48 gigabits per second. So we'll go ahead and get those installed in just a second. And then the other one, this is a 50 foot 8K, 48 gigabit per second HDMI cable. Get that one open as well. So this one's got a little bit of a fancy deal. Check this out. It's kind of interesting. Oh yeah. So again, nothing super major fancy, but definitely looks like it's got a nicer connector at the end compared to the smaller one. Now one thing you'll want to notice with these Let's get this un velcroed here, wherever this strap, there we go. Now, one thing you want to take note of with these longer cables is they are directional. So this side right here says to display. So that'll be hooked up to the JVC projector. And this other side says source. So this will go to the back of the Marantz AV7705. So make sure that you get this in the right direction or it will not work. Now, before I climb in my attic and get this permanently installed, I'm gonna hook this up, just laying it across my floor over to the projector and we're gonna test it out and just make sure it works properly. So here we have the source. So again, that is gonna get plugged in back behind here. the Marantz AV7705. 
and we'll take these other two small cables and connect that to the PS4 and the Pioneer 4K player. Okay, now these smaller cables, these are not directional. So we don't have to worry about that. Looking on both sides and neither one of them have any kind of labels on that. So we're just gonna reach back here, unplug the PS4. Connect that, reach back in here, and connect it to the Marantz. So again, like I said, I've got another monoprice cable here that was connected, and we have the Pioneer plugged in as well. And let's go ahead and remove this other longer HDMI cable. All right, so now that we've got that hooked up, I'm gonna go plug in this to the projector. And again, checking the label, it says display, so we're good to go there. Okay, so now I have all of the 18 gigabit per second HDMI 2.1 cables connected. We're gonna go back into setup on the Marantz, come down to video, down to 4K signal format, we're gonna click OK and change this to Enhanced. Now we're gonna back out of Setup. So now you can see the image is locked on and up at the top right we see we've got 3840 by 2160 at 24p HDR ST.2084. So we are in business. So the big question is what HDMI version is right for you? Now the reality is most people would do just fine with the HDMI 2.0 18 gigabits per second. That'll provide you with resolutions up to 4K at 60 Hertz and HDR. So the big question is do you need HDR 2.1? The reality is most people will not benefit much from it now. The reason why I'm going with it in my attic is because I live in Florida and I only want to make this trip once over the next at least five years. And so I know that if I go with the 18 gigabit per second, maybe in five years I upgrade to an 8K projector. And if that happens, I'm going to have to run another HDMI cable and I did not want to do that. So I went ahead and got the faster 48 gigabits per second high speed cable or ultra high speed cable to run through my attic. But unless you're a hardcore gamer and you're wanting to take advantage of maybe those higher uh, resolutions like 8K or 4K with faster frame rates, which is like 120 hertz or 60 hertz, you're really not going to benefit much currently with HDMI 2.1. So if you're looking to upgrade your HDMI cables to HDMI 2.0 or HDMI 2.1 cables, Monoprice has got a wide selection. I'll leave links to them down in the description below. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful in determining what HDMI cables might be the best fit for you. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.